What's going on guys, Rebel Rex here, and you're watching Rebel Rex. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now, a few days ago, I uploaded a video where uh, I let the scorecard emote decide where I land. If uh, you haven't seen that video yet, do check it out. And as always, if you happen to be new here, do leave a like and subscribe. Both would be greatly appreciated. So, going back to that video I posted a few days ago, I got a comment saying to show the locker. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That is what we're here for. Test event, what? Self-destruct. Well, okay. But we're here for the locker. So, this right here, this is my preferred locker set. The preferred choice that I'd go with if I ever had a locker bundle released. Literally, this here is what I wanted to consist of. So this is pretty much my main stuff. But we're gonna go through skins, back blings, pickaxes, and gliders. Just these only for this video. Now, I don't have too much, but I'll, I do at least have a good bit. At least a good bit. Vintage Ramirez. I forgot I ever uh, got this one, but here it is. Here it is. The old days. <laughs> Alright, next up in the greens, we got the Paranormal Guide. Came out last season. Part of the Ghostbusters crew and the only one that I was actually interested in. It was like, look, some dog ops. Kind of a Christmas honey here. Jonesy the first. Never forget your first run. Literally the original, which actually looks like Agent Jonesy is becoming. Uh, who remembers their first run? Yeah. So... Oh, that was Jonesy. Now we're over into the blues and yellow jacket. It was one of them little starter packs with the yellow and black style. Well, this skin's kind of alright. Guys, let me know what y'all's favorite skin is or rarest skin that y'all have in the comments. Now we move on over to the next skin, which happens to be Tess. Yeah, your best friend or your worst enemy. Came out not too long ago. Uh, what? I can't remember. So the survival specialist, yes, it is in my locker. The iris skin, I, I don't know why them starter pack skins if I remember. It's been a while since I've got her. Got her without the hood, and well, with and without the hood, I should say. Next rover. Machinist Mina. With her being one of those other skins you get from like a Save the World with a default style and then with a headset, so no major changes there. Metal Team Leader has been out in a shop, but that's how I got Save the World with this skin right here. Point Patroller, when that came out a good while ago, it was a PlayStation Plus exclusive skin. Oh dear. I'm not trying to go all the way up there yet. I couldn't zoom in with the camera, it wasn't wanting to work. The next over, Relax Fit Jonesy, or Fat Thor, or his original name, Dad Bod Jonesy, when I first heard about him. Yep. I happen to get this guy. Yo, know, a good bit of the skin that's out there is either a different variation of Jonesy or Ramirez, just so I know. Then the Seeker, no one of them little starter packs. I would, I was actually using this skin for a while when I first got, now next up, the Gingerbread Waiter. Yep, the Gingerbread Renegade Raider. Came out back in the Christmas season. I gotta like it. All right, 
and no, I don't have, yeah, I don't have the OG Renegade Raider. I just started playing a few seasons ago, so I don't have too much. Next up here is Frost Squad, which is one of the skins that you got during Operation Snowdown for doing the challenges there. Not too special. The skin's alright. Skin's alright. I'll, I'll give it that. Next up, Diamond Diva. It should still be available for y'all as of right now. <laughs> yeah, another starter pack skin. Code name Elf. I got this when it came back. It was the uh, old skin that Locky used to use. Or if you don't know, Locky, you might know him as Lachlan. With the other styles being Mint. I kind of like this one. And then Helm, codename Helper, style in blue. You know what? I got this skin. I was actually using it for a while during the winter period. Now next over, you got Dark Rex. The first Dark Series skin, and you can clearly see Jonesy's face in there. Same here. Other style, the default style, then yeah, purple. No, it's not purple guy, but it kinda looks like it. Then you have Tomato Head. <laughs> A fun one that I would use. The crown, this style would never unlock for me though, I don't know why. Style's just been permanently locked in challenges. Would never reappear. And then into the rest of the uh, purple skins. T and Tina, chapter 2, season 2. This is actually the season that I started playing in. The whole uh, Shadow v Ghost thing that went down, I pretty much went Team Shadow. Everyone, there's the Shadow variant of Tina. And then the original, I never got that high of a level. I was two levels away. Because I, I came into the game when uh, we were like halfway through season two. So, uh, and I ended up being two levels away from 200 by the end of the season. So, and there's Tina next. T800 came out a few weeks ago. Pretty much the Terminator skin up here in Fortnite. Next up is Summer Drift. I got him when he came back in the summer. Hell, I'm with the, I'm pretty much with the shirt and without it. I prefer him with that shirt. Snow Mando. Now what did he get from doing the Operation Snowdown challenges? Snake Eyes. Apparently one of the G.I. Joe skins, but it's never been a series I've went up into. I, I decided to collect the skin because of its look. Guy, shadow variation, and then default. She would be the one boss I would go for back then. And next up, you got Michonne. Came out like a month, like a month ago. The Walking Dead set with that, and then cloaked. Ocean Chapter Two, Season Three. Different styles. You got the default style. Riptide Ocean, pretty much. Brutus's helmet right there, if you remember the trailer. Riptide Ocean, no helmet. Cove Rider, and then Cove Rider without the helmet. Reese, this season, yes, I'm at the zero point stage as of right now. For her, you got the original Nebula Racer, Galactic Ranger, Sapphire, Topaz, and zero point, which these three replace the silver, gold, and hollow foil versions from last season. Scuba Jonesy is next up on the list. Mast, tactical, advanced. Siona, Siona, I was never confirmed how to say her name, so. Uh, okay, back then. Spacewalk. Be a Nova colored and blue. Alright, then next up after Siona in this list is the Skull Trooper 
I got it back when it came back during Fort Nightmare, so I would not have the purple variant of it. Green glow and inverted. Kinda looks like that whole Karate Kid stuff. I know what I'm talking about. Then next up we got Meow Souls. Never got them full gold, but we got a good bit of them. Of course, once again, I went Shadow and then default Meow Souls. I'm sorry, so much noise is going on outside. So, next up on the list here would be Maeve, or as I'd call her, Lindsay. If you don't know what I mean by that, it's from a, uh, another streamer that I watch over on Twitch. You can go follow him, Kyrox7TV, look him up, drop him that follow. And it pretty much looks like one of his uh, GTA character that he created. Next up is Man Cake. Purplish pinkish stack of pancakes right here. Yep, so we start off with the original man cake doing challenges, gives us other styles and leveling up. Lonesome hero, dark deeds, the cake with no name. Because it's literally just the same one, except he's got a hat and moustache on, that's it. Zero point, no, sapphire, topaz, then zero point right here. Next up is Lexa. Now when I get up in the battle pass, you got the original right here. Infiltrator and War Strike versions of these characters. Condor, deadly gift to an ancient ruler. I have a feeling that, and he hangs out down in Misty Meadows, which is pretty much uh, Chatter 2's Happy Hamlet. Or Lucky Landing, whichever one it was. He could be the one that's hunting down the Fox Clan, if you uh, remember all that stuff. Then we're over here with Kit. Got him Action Kit, kind of based off uh, how I got Meowsles, Shadow Meowsles. Yeah, Happy Kit, basically Ghost Meowsles or uh, Kit, anyways. Then the default. This was a fun skin to get. Even though uh, it's. His built-in emote did have some issues with four. Next up, we got Jules. Default welder, and then this. Kind of thing, she could be, actually be the daughter of Brutus instead of Jules. But you don't know. Dread Omen kind of became my main for a few days after I got him. Before the Midas Rex skin became my main. Daryl Dixon. He ain't nobody's. Well, you know. I'm trying to keep it family friendly here. We got that Desperado Daryl. We got Daryl, we just don't have Merle up in here. Cloud Striker. I believe this skin here was actually another PlayStation Plus exclusive. Actually, been a while here. I mean, I know I said I was gonna go through like pickaxes, gliders, and uh, back wings, but I'll save that for another day. Today, we're just gonna do skins. Next up, Brutus himself. We we're just talking about him. Golden Age. I managed to at least get him fully gold. Nice. He do be a thick boy, though. Shadow Brutus actually makes sense as he did go shadow down at the grotto you got actual Brutus who is back today as an NPC then you got the blitz brigade skin right here with all kinds of numbers possibilities now if, if y'all ever want me to customize the skin do let me know let me know what team you want me to make this skin and what number and I will wear it in my next video my next Fortnite video I should say moving on along agent Pilly he's got himself a license to peel oh you got he's got the default style right here you got him ghost and then shadow technically uh, so, Peely was pretty much created from Jonesy, if you all saw a little clip, but 
this technically, Agent Peely here is technically Agent Jonesy, if you think about it. Then we got the Stormtrooper, and no, my aim, it does not throw your aim off. That's only, it. even though you can see it in some videos that other YouTubers do, that their aim's off, they just purposely shoot that because they're wearing a Stormtrooper. You got the Shadow Arc. I got it in part of the Dark Fire bundle that came with Molten Omen, uh, Dark Power Cord, and her. Then we got over into the skins that came out last season, the Marvel skins. Wolverine, such a good one to get. You got his default style, classic. You got the Logan style, silver foil, gold, and hollow foil, which was a grind to get. Then next, you got Venom. Guys, once again, comment down your favorite skin below. If you think we should have gotten a Spider-Man skin, let me know down in the comments below. Style goes extreme. Looks like it gets a little chunkier, though. He definitely looks like it gets a little bigger and chunkier right here. And so are Tony Stark, or as I should say, Iron Man. Silver, gold, and Hollow. If you want me to go over emotes someday too, let me know and I'll do that. Next up, Ghost Rider. There was a cup for him, but we were actually doing good. We were actually doing good, but didn't get high enough. Or like what, top 2% for it? Next up is Groot. Silver, Gold, and Hollow. Man, I didn't, I didn't know trees could be rainbows. All right. Jennifer Walters, or as I heard some people call her, the Sniper Wolf skin. <laughs> Very much become She-Hulk, Crimson, makes a red She-Hulk, silver, gold, then hollow right here. Next over, Mystique, Tactical, silver, gold, hollow. No matter what, if you do her emo with any other variant of while using any other variant besides tactical, change into someone and then change back and you'll be back shown as tactical mystique here. If y'all if y'all got them styles, let me know. Comment below what level you ended off last season. And comment below if you made it to this point. Comment below what level you are currently this season. Also, guys, while I'm here, just take a moment. Also, in the comments, let me know if you have any theories on what could go down for this season's live event. Any theories you have, I would like to make a video based on that. Thank you. Now, next on over, we got Storm. You got Punk, Silver, Gold, Hollow, Foil. I've seen her go invisible when she does her emote sometimes, so... Thor! Who, uh, actually Captain America beat him down to the island. And then Thor came down, Mjolnir crashed down at the end of Chapter 2, Season 3. And then Silver, Gold, Hollow. Next skin up is Doctor Doom. Got right here, original God Emperor Doom. Silver, Gold, and then Hollow. Next up, we got Daredevil. There was another cup for him, but I don't, I don't remember. No, I played in it, but <laughs> things did not go well. He got illustrated pretty much like he was ripped out of a comic book, straight into the game. Captain America was here, came out chapter 2, season 3. I got him literally the day he came out. Next up, Blade. There was another cup for him. I don't remember if I played it or not. Wait, was there... Was there a cup for him, or did he just come on out? I know that there was a cup for Venom, Daredevil, uh... Black Widow and Ghost Rider. No, so there wasn't one for Blade. So you got that style, and then default. So you got Black Widow. I don't have the original one that came out, but I do have the 
Snow suit, one right here. Molten Omen. Well, I first got, this was literally the very first skin I actually got in the game. And, uh, yep, I kind of stuck with it. For a good while, for at least a good uh, month or two, this skin would be the one that I would use. The next up, you got Frozen Nogobs. Still looking like a honey here. Snow Drift, I got this pack when it came out. You know, who wants the actual drift to come back? Let me know. Let me know. No heart. We go the devourer, pretty much the polar peak monster. I, I know a lot about the backstory of this game, even though I never played the, all of the older seasons. You got um, no frost, and then just that frost. Master Chief. You know, I. I've never played the Halo series, so I don't know. But I managed to get the skin. I missed out on Kratos when he came out. But and next up, Poggies, we got the Lachlan skin. Lockie's own skin. If you use code Lockie to get the skin when it came out, let me know. But this skin I would use for a good while. I even have a preset devoted to this skin. Next up, Frozen. Fish stick. Well, yeah. Next, the Frost Broker. I don't. I don't know if there was an original Broker skin. If there was, do let me know. But I would use this one for a while. Next up, we got Gotham's Clown Prince of Crime, the Joker. First heard about him during Chapter Two, Season Three, but didn't come out till pretty much the start of this season. End of last season, you could only get the pack online, which sucked. His other styles being the default one right here. He kind of looks a little more like John Doe from the Batman Telltale series, and then with a jacket and hat. Well, he already got the jacket here. Well, this looks like he's getting ready to go on vacation or something. What do you guys think? We got the Flash still in the shop. Currently, if y'all had picked it up, good. Guys, there is actually one code that I want you to use in the item shop. Code KYROX7. K-Y-R-O-X-7. Support my buddy and use his code police. Next up, Batman. When he came back, I got him. There's a Dark Knight style of right here. Poison Ivy. <laughs> now this skin was a honey to get. Human, and then, well, that's the default one, but no. I gotta go with the woman style. Harley Quinn! Here, little monster. Always fantabulous. Never style, it's got like the all, uh, Suicide Squad movies. Comic Book Batman. Eh, he kinda looks like it. Aquaman, pretty much the secret skin of Chapter 2 Season 3. You got, um, they call that Arthur Curry and then default. Arthur Curry being his actual name. The Dark Power Cord, once again in the Dark Fire Bundle. I do not have the original of this skin, just so I know. Next up over, we moving into the Legendary Skins. First one being Zero. Pretty much a, a living version of the zero point itself. All you have right here, this the skin, the skin looks all right. Rate the skin one through ten down in the comments below. Next up, we got V or Vi, Roman numeral six, which was this month's crew pack skin. We got a different, uh, default side, and then Arctic. Midas Rex. There we go. There we go. I, I never use him with the mask, though. I never do, but this skin right here is actually my main. This skin here being my main one that I use. The yeah, oppressive skin I got because it looks default, and then blue. Got 
Oro, haven't used them in a while. Golden King pretty much with a glow. No glow. Skeleton King. Predator. Guys, if y'all have this skin, comment below what y'all's experience was fighting them. Next over, we got Tempest, which was actually a season 9 skin consumed by the storm. Back for revenge. Cal looks like another skin that we'll be seeing here shortly. And got the Ice Queen, blue, black, silver, gold. It was silver, gold versus hollow. Well, it is alright. I was give a bit of these, some of these skins I was given. Like this one here, but I like it. I like it. The only season 7 skin that I actually have. Next up, we got Midas himself. Which I heard rumors that he could be returning. If you got any theories about anything that could be happening, let me know in the comments below. Any theories that y'all have towards the end of the season, I will use for a video. Shadow style, default, and then fully golden Midas. Look at that shine. Next over, we got Menace. Who you can pretty much upgrade during his uh, style. Well, by leveling up, doing epic quests, being the purple challenges throughout the season. Yeah, Menace here, Challenger, Flame, Undefeated, Undefeated with the Flame, the Crystal Variants, I only have Sapphire and uh, Topaz as of right now. And then you got a mask, light helmet, no flame, heavy helmet, no flame, light helmet with flame. And then the heavy helmet with the flame, I actually like this variant very much. Maya, you could customize the skin during chapter two, season two. And this is uh, how she came out for me. Let me know what y'all think. This is how I made Maya out to be. Next over, we got Fade. Pretty much Chapter 2, Season 3's version of Drift. First off, you got the default style, Voyager, and then Mast. You kind of get a hint at Drift in this skin here. The Eternal Knight. You got the, the Black Eternal Knight. Black with super level on. Turn it off, and then you got the gold eternal knight. Super level off. Super level on right here. Then there's default with super level on. Let's see eternal knight. And next up, we have Cyclo, defy the storm, and then Tempest here, consumed by the storm, back for revenge. Oh, uh, these skins do actually look similar. Cyclo is actually back in the shop as of right now. If y'all want to pick him up, do use code Kyrox7, like I said, to support a buddy of mine. We're almost to the end of our skins. We got Crackshot, Default, Blue, Gold, Pink, and Crack Skull, Mandalorian, There we go, pretty much this is the Mando you get at the start of the season. And then over time you can upgrade him. Pretty much in this order is how you unlock his uh, upgrades. If you're doing the challenges when you get them, they'll be coming out like this. You can see him evolving over on the uh, right side of the screen. Torso goes up, the helmet, and then boom, full out Mandalorian. Next over is Deadpool, the Merc with a Mouth. Pretty much when he was available, that's when I first played the game actually. God, mask off, Deadpool, and then X-Force, Deadpool, mask on like that. The final skin that I have up in here, the, when I, the new Renegade Waiter, the Fire Renegade Raider Blaze. In the chapter 2 season 3 trailer, the skin was revealed, but I actually skipped it. 
I was just ready to get into the next season once it was like after 5 a.m. when I was trying to record for it over on a different channel that I no longer use and then that's pretty much it that is all my skins over in the shop here you got the slide cyclos back oblivion Street Fighter stuff is still here. I'm not picking any of it up. So all this, look down in the bottom left. I'm in bottom right where it says support a creator. This code right here, code Kyrox7. Use this code. Support my, support my buddy. It would be greatly appreciated. Except anything you get with him, with that code. I know it means a lot to him, and it means a lot to me to see that you are using his code. And then, new crew pack, this skin is coming out next month, Lombro. Don't think I'm going to get it, it looks too stupid, alright? <laughs> but guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!